Well, a minor walks through the alcohol section at a local grocery store. The curious customer, though, has four legs. It was a fawn. NBC 26's John Erickson is live at 6. And John, how did that deer get in? The automatic doors opened right up for it, Stacy. And after it walked in, the workers figured out a way to get it out. When the country comes to the city and there's a deer at the door. I got a call over the headset that we had a fawn in Wine and Spirits Department. Didn't go for the lettuce or the corn, no. This Bambi went toward the booze. Well, the first thing I thought of is we had a new associate who was running our Wine and Spirits Department at the time, and I'm like, does he have a clue what he's talking about? So, but yes, he did. He wasn't uh, wrong about that at all. Workers stood side to side and guided the fawn out of a back door. It ran away toward a pond. There's always something that happens at the grocery store, but yes, in, in my 30 plus years in the business, I haven't had a deer come through the door before. What a story Andrew has, and what a story this fawn has to tell to all of its friends back in the wild. I'm sure it's glad to be back in the wild. I was surprised that the door opened because the fawn, you know, is pretty short. It's not, right. you know, five feet tall or anything like exactly. that. Exactly, and you have to give those workers a lot of credit. Well, a lot of us will be running for the door. They got, you know, they got smart and yeah, they had was, a plan. And they didn't grab it because, you know, animals don't want to smell like humans or anything. So they just kind of guided it, walked it, right out the back door. Very interesting. We see why it's going viral tonight. Absolutely. All right, thanks, John.